Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the Handmade Energy Pistol mod, which is being made by user Flatesca. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is an awesome new energy pistol that's, well, homemade. And I really love this thing. Is it something that I always feel like there should be more of in the Fallout franchise? And that's handmade post-apocalyptic weapons. So let's take a look at what exactly we do get over here with the Handmade Energy Pistol, which in its most basic and standard form will do 20 energy damage with the standard fusion cell, with a firing rate of 66, a range of 71, accuracy of 70, for a weight of 2.6. And I really do love the look of this thing. It's a very simplistic weapon, but again, the whole point is, it, is that it is a handmade post-apocalyptic gun here. So it's not too complex, it's thrown together with just bits and bobs of scrap metal and circuitry and vacuum tubes, well not really vacuum tubes I guess, but capacitors there, and just overall looks the part for a handmade energy gun. I very much do like it. Now there's not a whole lot of modifications for it, but enough to help make this thing more useful into the mid game, which is always nice, but definitely not a huge amount of things on there to, you know, change it up to anything too crazy. It's just a basically a straight upgrade path. Now, as for how you do get your hands on one of these lovely little things, well, it is pretty simple. You'll start finding them in the world on Raiders after level 5. But if you don't want to wait that long, you can go to any chemistry station in the world, and down in the utility category, you'll have a place to make this for just one adhesive, two circuitry, one crystal, two nuclear materials, six plastic, and three three screws and that is all and you'll have your own handmade energy pistol which again makes sense it is meant to be handmade so it's definitely fun that you can make it yourself so let's take a look at what modifications we do have on this thing and start with the capacitor category here we, we've got the pretty basic sort of stuff for an energy weapon going from a standard capacitor to a photonic cider all the way on up to maximized capacitors and overcharge charge capacitors, which will bring this thing to a pretty good amount of damage there at 35, and of course also help improve the ammo capacity, not too shabby. Now in the barrel category, you got a couple of fun ones here. The standard barrel, a long barrel to help improve the damage a bit, and of course accuracy, and an improved long barrel which will up the damage a bit more from there, which is very cool. I do like that. It does mean you can get this gun up to a pretty surprising amount of damage for a early game handmade energy pistol. And then we have the grip category where we've just got three sort of, you know, typical things we'd have in here, a standard grip, comfort grip, and a sharpshooter's grip. And finally, the sight category, where we sadly only have two options. You guys know me, I like sight options. And we've only got in here a standard iron sight and a reflex sight, and that is it. Granted, being a homemade, handmade gun, I don't really know how many other sights would fit in here, but these two certainly work and serve their purpose. But still... You know me, I always like seeing a few more. So let us grab ourselves my uh, two modified ones I made over here, and then we'll get to some fire testing with this thing, starting with the standard pistol with the uh, 20 shots here using the fusion cell and fire. And there we go, a good a solid gun, not the most impressive thing in the world, but I mean it is an early game energy weapon for you to acquire that again is, well, handmade. And I do again like the design of this thing with the fusion cell just being right there in the center and just, uh, you know, pulling up the whole thing. A little strange that it has, you know, a revolver style hammer on the back of the gun, but you can kind of consider that a switch since, you know, we're not 
pulling it back more often, and it seems to bring itself back very slowly like it does there, which is interesting. But all in all, I do like how it does fire, and is just a fun little pistol with a pretty good controllable recoil. It's got some noticeable, of course, but it's not too bad. Now, as for my modified ones here, I made a tactical version with the boosted gamma wave emitter so it will light some things on fire, which is pretty neat. And I do like the look of once you do get the uh, larger barrels on here. It looks very interesting, and I do quite like it. So let's try that one first to add a bit of fire damage to our shots, which is just a fun and, yeah, just a, you know, nice, simple pistol. And then, of course, we've got what I was able to get to the highest amount of damage with, of course, out using any additional perks, where we got up to 41 with the overcharge capacitor, the improved long barrel there, which is pretty good. That's not too bad of damage in the slightest for a level 5 pistol. So definitely pretty cool there indeed. So let us grab that one and fire. I mean, not much difference in the firing because, well, it's all the same particle effect, beam effect, and, well, the sound, but still looks good and will do some nice damage. Now, I just decided to get some uh, bandits to spawn this time around, considering it is a lower end sort of a pistol, and killing a Deathclaw with this might take us a bit, so let us just grab, we'll get at least a couple of bandits yeah. in here to kill, as long as I actually hit them. There we go, and, oh, missed him, there we go, there he is, wonderful. And yeah, for again, a pistol you'll find at level 5, and could make even earlier in the game. Once you get the materials, you could make it at level 1 if you so desired. And it's, uh, it, you know, can get pretty powerful, which I do like. And it's just nice to see more handmade weaponry. Like I said, I always do enjoy that. And it's cool to have some handmade energy weaponry. That is just fun. So if you'd like to take a look at this mod for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for this one today, my friends. Hopefully you have enjoyed and you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching and have a good one.